cockle shell bay is a town near the sea with seagulls and sunshine and sound there are shops that sell ices and bright colored kites that will fly from a string in your hand there are white painted houses along the seafront and one's called the bucket and spade it's where people stay and two children play with all the good friends that they've made so meet Robin and Rosie of Cockleshell Bay. Dad, said Robin, can you play with us? Uh, what's that, Robin? Will you play with us, Dad? Oh, yes, Rosie joined him. Will you? Well, said Mr. Cockle, any minute now, I'm going out to start a job. What job? said Rosie. Oh, uh, quite a nice job, said Mr. Cockle. And you'll be able to help. Oh, great, said Rosie. Oh, what doing, Dad? Help you doing what? Aha, said their father. You'll see. I wonder why grown-ups always say you'll see. Wherever are they? Mum, said Rosie. Hmm? Daddy says he's going to start a job. Yes, said Robin. And he says we can help, only, only he won't tell us what it is, said Rosie. Well, said Mrs Cockle, if I can just find what I'm looking for, I'm going to start on the same job. Yes, yes but, but what, what job? job? Asked Robin and Rosie, both together. Oh, you'll see said their mother. Oh, mummy, exploded Rosie. That's what Daddy said. It's not fair. Mrs. Cockle giggled at being shouted at. Oh, dear. You are in a bad temper. Well, Dad says you'll see, and you say you'll see. And we want to know what job. Yes, we do. Well, said Helen Cockle, I'll give you a clue. If I find what I'm looking for, I'll be able to start. Um... Uh, Oh, uh, Robin thought hard. Uh, dusters! No, Robin, not dusters. Um, oh, um... It was Rosie's turn. I know, self-raising flower. No, Rosie, laughed her mother. I wouldn't be looking for flower in this cupboard, would I? Oh, said Rosie. No, I suppose not. Well, I don't know then, and I don't know either, said Robin, unless it's Helen. Mr. Cockle popped his head round the door. Have you seen my old hat? I know, I know, I know, squeaked Rosie. That's your... No, wait! Robin stopped her. We both have to say it together. One, two, three... Gardening hat! You guessed it, said their mother. Gardening. Do you want to help? Oh, yes! By the time Mr. Cockle came out of the back door with his hat on, Robin and Rosie and Mrs. Cockle were already at work on the vegetable patch. I found my hat, he called. It was on Teddy's head. Oh, laughed Mrs. Cockle. Uh, was he going out somewhere? <laughs> they all had a giggle at that, including Christopher Cockle, and then they got back to gardening. If you dig the soil over, Chris, said Mrs. Cockle, I'll break it up with a hoe. Uh -huh. And then we can sow a couple of rows of peas. Why do we have to dig it first, Mum? Asked Robin. Yes, and why do you have to break it up with the, um, the, um... Hoe, said their mother. Yes, hoe. Well, 
she explained, when the seeds start to grow, they'll only be tiny little plants, so they won't like having to push past big, hard lumps of soil. That's right, said Christopher Cockle. So I'll break the biggest pieces of soil with the spade here, and then your mum will chop the bits up smaller with the hoe. Yes, this is the hoe. It's really just a, a very small spade on a very long handle. Oh, oh yes. yes! Soon, Mr Cockle was digging. Robin was picking out the big stones that he dug up. Mrs Cockle was hoeing. And Rosie was smoothing the soil with a rake. It's like a big comb, she said to Robin. It makes lovely patterns. Suddenly, Robin noticed something. Hey! he said. You're bigger! Bigger? said Rosie. What do you mean, bigger? Taller, said Robin. You were only as big as me, and now you're taller. Hmm, said Mrs Cockle. Perhaps you're growing like a vegetable. Yes, said Mr Cockle. Or perhaps... <coughs> Perhaps it's all the soil on the sole of your boots. Oh, yes, said Rosie. It's all sticking in a big lump. <laughs> she giggled. I thought my boots were heavy. And then Christopher Cockle showed her how to hold on to the handle of the spade and scrape the soil off her boots with the top of the metal bit. At last, they were ready to sow the seeds. Mr Cockle had made two grooves in the ground where they could be planted. And here are the packets of seeds, said Mrs Cockle, fishing them out of her apron pocket. Gosh, Mum, said Robin, peering into the packet. They're just like dried peas. Oh, yes, said Rosie. Well, that's what they are, said Mrs Cockle. The peas that you eat for your dinner are just the seeds of the pea plant. Only these have been saved so that we can grow some more, said Mr Cockle. Oh! said Robin. Oh, said Rosie. Now, said their mother, one packet each. Robin, you sow the seeds in that groove, and Rosie, you sow yours in that one. One seed at a time, and about that far apart. Oh, right, right Mum. Mum. Great. Great. And we'll do a bit more digging, said their father. So Robin and Rosie stood next to each other, one foot on each side of their own groove, and walked slowly along, popping a seed into the bottom of the groove every few inches. Oh, said Robin. My back's all stiff. Hmm, said Rosie. And all the blood's gone to my head. And she staggered about a bit to prove it, and giggled. <laughs> I'm all dizzy. <laughs> Mum, called Robin. We've finished. I've done a row of... Hey, they've gone. What? My peas have gone. It's you, Rosie. You've been taking my peas. Have not, said Rosie. Uh, Anyway, mine have gone too, so you must have taken mine. Did not, shouted Robin. Did, Rosie shouted back. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? She's stolen, stolen my, my peas. peas. Hmm, said Mrs Cockle. I don't believe it was Robin, Rosie. See, said Robin. And I don't believe it was Rosie, Robin. See, said Rosie. But then she said... But if it wasn't me, and it wasn't Robin, who... Ah! Ben Gunn! Gun, said Robin and Rosie, both together. There's your answer, Rosie, said Mr Cockle. Yes, said Helen Cockle. The pirate seagull strikes again. You must have been eating the peas as fast as you could plant them. You greedy bird, said Rosie. Cheeky old pirate, said Robin. But Ben Gunn just said... Ah! Well, maybe he was hungry, said Mrs Cockle. It must be nearly lunchtime anyway. Oh, great, said Robin. And we're, we're starving. starving, said Robin and Rosie, both together. Come on, then, said their mother. Oh, we'd better feed you. 
How about some pea soup? <laughs> and they all went in laughing to lunch. <laughs>